What's up, everybody? My name is Emily Jean. This is John Spaghetti. Cosmo is on the ground. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas where we walk up the street to go get a freaking COVID test. How's your day? <laughs> this is our day. Woke up, took the dog to the park, slept, did some homework, and now we're another daily dose of COVID testing. Um, we got our COVID test on Monday and still haven't gotten the results. So we're like not wanting to do anything because we need to know if we had COVID or not. And we couldn't find rapid testing on Monday. So now, because it's not as cold out, we're gonna go to that same place and get another COVID test that we went to yesterday and Monday. And we're gonna see if we can get a rapid test. <sighs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine, right? Totally fine. <laughs> We got our PCR test and then we found a rapid testing line because we haven't gotten any results back yet, which is really frustrating. So John's in the line now. I was in the line, but we had the dog and the line was really long. So I walked all the way back to the apartment and dropped the dog off. So now I have to walk all the way back up there. But I'm just so angry. Like, is anyone else just like so angry? Like I have to spend my whole day outside in a line to get a rapid test. Ugh, oh, I'm just so angry. And I really am a firm believer in like you make your mood, but the past like three days, I just like, I've been in this funk and I can't get out of it. And I'm just, like, I even feel like I <clears throat> am not celebrating like the holidays or like the end of Vlogmas, my first Vlogmas, because I can't do anything holiday related because I can't go anywhere because I don't know if I have COVID. How are you all feeling? Let me know how you're feeling if you live in New York City. Oh, also, also the head of the Broadway League freaking literally went and gave a speech saying that the reason that Broadway is shut down is because the swings and covers, the swings and understudies are not good enough. Like, are you insane? I don't have COVID. Ugh. The results from Monday. But I'm still going to get a freaking rapid because we're planning to go see my dad tomorrow. So this is literally my fourth COVID test in four days. We already got one done today too. Literally two hours later, I'm dying. It is so cold. This sucks. I hate everybody. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. No COVID. No COVID. No COVID. <laughs> no COVID. Well, we've had a very interesting couple of hours since we returned from our rapid test. Um, so here's how our day went. I woke up. Took the, took the dog to the park, had no motivation, but I had to get homework done, so I did some homework. And then John was like, hey, I found this rapid testing site up the street. Let's go get our regular PCR and get a rapid, just, you know, to, to cover all of our bases because we still hadn't gotten the results from our testing on Monday. So we go. We're, we stood in line for two and a half hours in the freezing cold, let me might add. Um, and... On that line, we got our results from Monday and both of our PCR tests came back negative. So then we get at this testing site outside, we get a rapid out and we get a PCR. And then I went to the grocery store and the liquor store because I wanted to make a holiday cocktail slash I ordered pizza and we get home and John's rapid test comes back positive. And uh, where we were both at our breaking point at that point. Like I was so cold outside and so angry that we had to like stand outside and like, listen, I know that like some people are really suffering with COVID 
and I know it's more of an inconvenience for us than anything. It's just so frustrating because our entire industry and our entire life, like the stress and anxiety of, of like, do you have COVID? Do you not have COVID? Who have you been around? Like, especially we, we teach. So we're around people all the time. Like it's, uh, it's very triggering. Like, um, uh, I'm studying clinical mental health counseling and like dealing with the anxiety of like, if you have COVID, do you have COVID? Who have you been around? Like, it's really triggering. Like the anxiety and the like trauma of it is real. Um, and it feels like we're back in 2020. Um, yeah, like I was like viscerally angry, like inside, which I haven't felt in a very long time. So, but his rapid came back positive, which makes no sense because he hasn't been around anybody. And if anyone was going to get it, it was going to be me because of work. Um, so then we both kind of fell apart. And then he was like, you know what? They're still open. I'm going to go back and get another one because we had a feeling that it might be a false positive. So he went back and they were actually giving out the at-home rapid test. So he came home, he did the at-home one, and it came back negative, as we can tell. Um, hopefully we'll get another PCR test that will come back tomorrow, and he has a second rapid that he's going to do tomorrow here. Um, it just sucks, y'all. If you don't live in New York City, I don't think you can relate, but everything sucks. Everything sucks. Um, so we ordered pizza, we watched the holiday, we had a cocktail... And now I guess we're going to pack. Like, we were supposed to go see an apartment today, but I had to reschedule that. So I guess we're going to pack with the hope and plan that we're going to go to my dad's tomorrow. And then we have plans to go to um, John's parents. They live in Ohio. So that's the plan right now. Checking in with everybody on YouTube. Um, I'm grateful for this community that we've built here on my channel. Like, how are you all doing? How's your mental health? How's, you know, uh, I feel like... I've accomplished so much this year and I am going to do a video. It won't be a part of Vlogmas. It'll probably be either be in the new year or like as we lead up to the new year, maybe the 20th or 29th, um, about setting goals and intentions and manifestation and stuff. And I did that last year and I feel like it really worked for me. And I feel like I really got a lot done this year. I accomplished a lot of things. I did things that I wanted to like focus on. But right now I'm just feeling so low and like I didn't do anything. And that like the holidays are just like with Broadway shows having to close for a couple days and the Radio City canceling and, you know, these people making comments about, like, that woman, it's still like, I, and I've never been a swing, I've understudied, but the woman who made the comment about the, the swings and understudies are not good enough, like, she has no idea. And she made a retraction, she, you know, she, she did an apology, but like, ma'am, just don't speak. These people have no idea, like, how... Do you know what people would give to be a swing on Broadway? Like, I'd give anything to be a swing on Broadway right now. Um, they're heroes, and for you to say otherwise is... Just because they're a swing doesn't make them less qualified. It actually makes them more qualified because they can cover all of the roles. So, I'm just feeling a lot. And I feel like I had all these ideas to do the end of Vlogmas. I was going to take you to Bryant Park. I was going to take you to Radio City. I was going to take you to... Christmas shopping now. I've done all my Christmas shopping online. I just feel like everything's gone like... And again, like, we don't have COVID. We're not sick. Bright side. It's just... The mental part of it, y'all. The mental health. We gotta take care of our mental health, everybody. Yeah, drop a comment. Let me know how you all are doing. How's everyone doing? <laughs> um, yeah, so I might... I'm in a pack do a couple more things and then I'll probably come on here and say good night um hopefully the plan tomorrow we'll see the plan tomorrow we're gonna go get COVID tested in the morning we're gonna go see this apartment and then we're gonna head to my dad's and um, maybe make my mom's cookies for Christmas is the plan so a couple more vlogmas videos to go I can't believe it's almost Christmas honestly I'll be honest with you it doesn't feel like it I feel like the holidays the past couple of years for me have just been like eh because of COVID and quarantine, so, um, but I'm grateful that everyone's doing well, and everyone's healthy, and has jobs, and all that kind of stuff, so, and I'm grateful for Vlogmas this year, and our YouTube community, I'm so grateful that we had a thousand subscribers, like, huge milestone, so happy to have you guys, I'm looking forward to all the content that I'm going to create in January. Um, I'm going to do more tap videos. Oh, um, I have, I'm going to launch my Bridgerton tap video. I did put it on TikTok, but I'm going to launch it here on YouTube 
maybe New Year's Eve or like as like a, you know, going into 2022 mantra, make more art, you know, produce your own art. If you're not getting hired, produce your own art. If people aren't giving you the job, doesn't matter, produce your own art. That's what I say. So yeah, so look forward to that. Um, I'm going to pack a little bit and I'll see you guys a little later. packed most of what I could pack and then I'll pack the rest in the morning. Our plan is to, John's going to take that rapid test in the morning and then I think we're going to see if we can go find a couple more rapid tests to take. Um, and just hope that it's negative and hopefully we'll get a PCR test back from our Tuesday testing tomorrow that's negative as well. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the day. We just took the dogs out so I'm going to go to bed and pray that tomorrow will be a better day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I promise the end of Vlogmas will be <laughs> not all about COVID. <laughs> um, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys tomorrow.